In this Revit tutorial, I want to talk about how you can edit the profile of a wall. Uh, in my um, project that I have right now, I just have some very uh, basic walls in place. Um, they're just going up, I think, from level one to level two, you know, nothing fancy. Um, if I just wanted to have like partial height walls or something like that, I could certainly just unconstrain them and change the height. You know, I could say I really just want that wall um, to be four feet tall, for example, and I can do that in the properties palette. And then I have, you know, a short wall. Uh, but if I wanted to have maybe a full height wall going from level one to level two, for example, um, but I wanted to cut a hole in it, give it a curve or something like that, what I want to do is edit the profile. So first thing you should do is select the wall you're interested in. And when you do that, you'll get the green contextual modify walls tab, and then you can edit the profile. When you do that, uh, Revit changes your wall from really a wall to these magenta lines. So you get into this sketch base mode, uh, and then you can, you know, draw whatever shapes you want on it and either hit the green uh, check mark to accept it or the red X to get rid of it. Remember, when this turns teal and you're in this sketch base mode, you have to either accept or decline it before you can really move forward. Uh, with these um, different shapes, you can really get incredibly creative and you know make this wall into whatever you want. So this is where you can really um, you know change things from being so rectilinear. Um, but just for the point of it, I'm just going to make it really simple. You know, maybe I came in and I wanted to cut out um, a hole in between or something like that. You know, I could keep it that simple, and I can drive its measurements with the temporary dimensions that show up, of course. Or, you know, I could come in and, you know, maybe I want to, um, you know, draw some sort of um, shape in place. I can use all of my modify tools like trim, extend a corner, click on the ones that I want to keep to clean that up, uh, and so on. You know, I can grab my modify tool and I can certainly change these numbers, maybe make that, you know, seven feet, make it a little bit taller, for example. Um, and maybe I want this distance to be four feet. Uh, so all of these tools are, you know, in play and come back time and time again. Uh, but the basic idea is you can either cut away at this shape or create a closed shape within it, however you want to work. Um, and when you do that, you'll actually create a hole. So whenever you have a closed shape within another closed shape in a sketch base mode, you create an opening. And now I've created this um, unique opening in my wall. Okay, and I can either go back and edit the profile to make changes to it if that's something I want to do. Or I can just reset the profile and take it back to its um, normal, quote unquote, normal state. Um, so it really depends what you're trying to accomplish. But um, if you want to create a unique uh, wall profile, you simply select it edit profile, and then use your drawing tools to make whatever unique shapes you want.